Welcome to part two of the Blood Rage. As you see right now, we're working on the Raven Clan, and we have the Wolf Clan on deck. So, for sake of saving time, I decided to just put all the base coats on so you guys get a good idea of what's going on here. And as you can see with this guy, I used the turquoise, the blue. I've already started working on some of the shading for the water, but we'll get into that in a little bit. The commander, we have nice even flow of, of silver, the red headdress, as you can see the brown shield with the, uh, with the metal outside, wood handles, brass handles for the swords, and his armor is right in where it needs to be. Now these are just base coats. We haven't put any washes on them or anything like that to really start to bring them out and get them detailed. We're going to do some washes and we're going to be doing some, some, uh, on top of that we're going to be doing some dry brushing as well. And just to show you the other figure here, uh, tried to pretty much make it pretty much just like what you see on your card so it'll be easier to play with. Um, had to improvise a little bit since some of the things are not located and you can't see his back and his shields. And you can see we have the white hair, the armor with the turquoise that they showed. Uh, I decided to change and give it a little more depth with the brass and the brown and the horn and of course the red for the tassel on the helmet. Uh, I'll be fixing the boots. I usually wait till the end for that, especially when I'll have to paint all these bases over. So, today what we're going to do is we're going to go a little further and we're start, going to start bringing out the water. The mouth came out pretty good. I've already used a orange filler for the eyes and once that really dries pretty good what we'll do is we'll probably even uh, get that up going uh, uh, we'll start detailing the eye as well and I'll include you on that we're really trying to get to the wolf clan and then we'll pick one of these other monsters and since there are four four clans I'm trying to do a monster a clan and that way I can really try to get through and really get a lot of this done and caught up but I think we'll be able to finish the Raven clan today which means there will only be three more clans left and three more monsters and as you see what we want to do is I've got a little fan brush here with a little baby blue on it I'm going to test the bottom of this base to see how much I have on here and that's a little bit too much so I'm just going to dry this off a little bit more come back work it through and we want to make sure and we just want to kind of go over and just hit his high points of his turquoise and you can see I'm just kind of dry brushing here giving him a little bit of waterish look not just making him one color and you can see it starts to shade out a little bit and give him a little depth and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put this over the water a bit because we want that water to really jump out because water is not just one color and you can see how the fan brush is just perfect if you if you get it dry enough that we can really work that base and you see I'm working in here and and the fan brush just stays perfect because you could just take it and just flow through it there we go we got good brings out his jawline some of these tentacles whatever you want to call him on his helmet there <laughs> head 
and we're not taking away from his mouth. And we'll probably just take a little bit of white and go over that again. Let's let that dry a little bit and let's clean off this brush. All right. Okay, we're about as wide as we can go. All right, the next step is we're going to start putting some washes on here. And this is going to be kind of tricky because of the way these guys are that you can't just like smother them with a a wash and say, "Well, here we go." You actually have to be very very intricate in your washes. Um and you know you're going to want to use a brown wash for certain things and you're going to want to use your new oil for for a dark wash okay so we got our new oil and what we want to do is we want to grab our guy here and just go over the metal parts as best as we can really cover his armor don't worry about getting it on his dress but try not to dress his uniform onto the spear his armbands this is tricky up here you want to get up into his his headdress here and the silver part of the helmet what you really don't want to do is really get on his face. And then you want to take and just work this over the shield because that's going to really get in there and really bring out some detail. And we're going to get the back of the thing there. Work it over the axe. Into his sword. And you see, we just don't want to get it on his face. There we go. So we're going to put him down. This guy's a little trickier because you want to get it on the beard to give it that look. That, that beard's just not this white thing. And we're going to work this over into all the armor areas. And we're going to get it on his beard. We're going to be very careful around this head. See how we want to get it in there to give that hair a little bit of depth and color. And then just kind of work our way down into the armor, over the browns, over the silvers, onto a staff sword. And turn it around and then do the same on his shield and the back of his fur cloak there we go and we're just going to work that around a bit and up in there get the back of his head so he doesn't look strange on the side of his cloak. Again, like I said, we'll go back over this and we will be dry brushing it. Then the actual leader here. This guy has a lot of armor, so we really want to make sure that we get that in there. Onto all the swords, onto his shoulder plates and very carefully around his head and then back into the shield here kind of really just want to take our time with this back of his cloak make sure we get the armbands and then come up top and work this staff As you can see, the staff is pretty detailed. And we're going to bring that out. And if you get it on his skin, don't worry. You can just paint over his skin. It's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. Nothing we do here is the end of the world. 
we make mistakes we fix them everybody makes mistakes it's just you gotta know how to fix it and that's the most important thing alright a lot more depth and as you see we're really starting to come out there main thing is the good dry brush when this when this stuff dries and that's going to really sell this for us. Alright, so we got those guys all washed, which is perfect. We're right on schedule with these guys. And now I just mixed up a little, a little bit of white and a with a sky blue. So I get an even, I got a little bit of white, but not a lot and I want to take all the paint off this I want to take it all off and I really want to make sure that it's nice and dry and again it comes down to grabbing the bottom of your bro your your base really getting making sure all that excess is off And now what I want to do is I want to really have that foam come out. And look at look how that starts to come up. With a nice even dry brush. We're not worried about getting any of it on him. Cuz it almost gives the illusion that he really is coming jumping out of the water to eat whatever viking he can find. <laughs> And you can see now we have multi layers into that water. And that water really kind of stands out. And there you go. And this guy's looking pretty nasty. Just the way we want him. Perfect. So that's how you take care of this guy. Now the rest of these guys we're going to let dry. And then uh, we're going to move on to the Wolf Clan, which I should have a good video of it up tomorrow. Um, and I think that'll only take me about a day or two because the Wolf Clan is relatively easy. So let's take a look at them, by the way. We'll finish up the highlights on the Raven, guys. Well, let's take a look at the Wolf Clan while we can. As you see, what we're going to be working with, we're going to be working with grays for the fur. So we're going to have to do like almost a brown, a light brown underneath, and then highlight it with a gray outwards. And then a lot of body tone, some browns and a little red, and uh, a lot of silver. So that'll take care of that guy, and then... The leader, he has a green mid-dress on, which we'll take care of. Silver, our basic browns, and it looks like we got orange hair. Uh, we'll make sure that we get that right where we need to get it, and we'll make sure that we get everything where it should be. We got a little gold in there as well. So we'll be working on the Wolf Clan next, and I think... Since we got this guy pretty well set, hmm, well, it only makes sense. Let's go with this guy next. We'll get him painted up. So that's it for part two of Painting Blood Rage. Join me a little later this week. Well, probably tomorrow, Saturday, as we take care of, the, we finish up the Raven Clan. And we start painting the wolf clan and I call him a snow giant or air giant. Water, earth, fire. Let's call him air. There we go. Storm giant. So there you go. That's it from this episode and we'll see you guys next time.